do you know how i feel when i wake up and see that one subscriber has been added to my subscriber <laughs> guys your girl is grateful not just to god but to you guys as well and i am super excited we are celebrating my subscribers i am celebrating my subscribers guys hi my loves welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's Imelva here in case you're seeing me for the first time please don't make it your last by subscribing to this channel okay so in today's video it's gonna be more like a testimony <laughs> i will be sharing with you guys how youtube literally changed my life with less than 700 subscribers yes guys i uploaded my first youtube video february yes 2024 but that's not the first time i came here on youtube i've been on youtube for a very long time i've been here for more than two years yes so i actually created a channel without really knowing how the platform works i've been watching youtube videos and all that i want to be like this person i want to be like that person so i opened my youtube channel but then i was not consistent and that's because i was still in school then and i was working while in school and i was still doing business while in school of course <laughs> so i had so many things that engaged my time and you know i wanted to concentrate to get i didn't want to be jack of all trade master of none okay so i had to post youtube so back then when i was on youtube i was actually uploading makeup videos right but again i didn't know how the platform worked in terms of editing you know being consistent and you know searching for the right themes to use the right descriptions the right tags hashtags and all that i really did not understand how youtube works until no okay it's not like i'm i'm less engaged now but then i i, I to an extent i owe myself right now okay so i i said baby girl you have to pick your camera again and you have to do this this time around nobody is there to push you nobody is there to tell you ah shoot no do this do that edit this way edit you are the boss of your own self okay so that's why i am back okay The first thing YouTube has done for me is to build a brand. Yes, YouTube has shamed me in terms of I am always watching myself. I watch what I say. I watch what I do. I watch how I interact with people. I am practically self-conscious, all thanks to YouTube. Because I know that tomorrow I'll be popular. Yes. And when that happens, you know, internet doesn't forget. If there are things that you've done in the past, internet, go and fish that video out or fish that thing out. Okay, so right now, I watch what I do, I watch what I say, I watch where I go. YouTube constructed me in a way that I can now call myself a brand, okay? Personal branding. Oh. <laughs> Next amazing thing that YouTube has taught me is how to be patient. I have to drink to that. Guys, I'm not even going to lie. If you're on YouTube, if you're a small YouTuber, if you're just starting, you have to, you have to be patient. Just, just learn how to be patient. You don't need to rush it because YouTube will humble you. <laughs> YouTube will literally humble you. Imagine when you've given all your time, your energy, and you, you've created one mind-blowing content that in your head you are like once i sleep i wake up it's over because i'm gonna blow up do you get because that's how valuable you feel the content you created is not just creating content after creating the content for hours you now decide to edit you know how long it takes to edit a video a particular video that i will edit and then end up getting 11 minutes 10 minutes or even less 
Do you know how long that video is generally? So you have to be patient. You have to cut. You have to watch every single line that you are saying. And you have to cut and split and edit and trash. You know, you have to be patient if you are, if you are a YouTuber, especially a small YouTuber. Because it can be so discouraging that you are giving all your maximum time, your effort in, you know, creating content, editing it and uploading it only for you to get two views, three views or even less to get. So it can be so depressing. So you have to learn that as a skill. You don't have to learn it. YouTube will teach you. YouTube will literally humble you. The next amazing thing that YouTube has taught me is how to be confident. Guys, I can't even overemphasize this. I know, um, well, I used to be very confident in myself, but then there are days that there are days that I just feel low, so low, okay? But then YouTube, when I remember that I'm a YouTuber, I talk to people. I mean, I have like 600 people watching me and I have like 600 family members <laughs> subscribed to me. I am honored and that boosts my confidence. That's literally, that literally boosts my confidence. I'm not even going to lie about it. YouTube has somehow, somehow constructed me in a way that even if I go out there and I talk to people, I talk like a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm gonna drink to that. <laughs> I've, I've never been a shy person when it comes to talking to people. Back then in school, I do my presentation and I do it very well. But there's this inner confidence that you have that, man... <laughs> you are a youtuber okay like give me some accolades please it's not easy <laughs> okay just kidding but that's that's just the reality of life youtube has made me more confident than i used to be okay then the next thing youtube has taught me is learning new skills learning new things you know adaptation that is one thing that youtube has also taught me Back in the days, I used to do just makeup tutorial here on YouTube. But as time goes on, I, I, I just had to like start asking myself, what are the things that you like? What are other things that you love, you love doing aside makeup? And I realized that I like giving people constructive advice. And I decided to shape my YouTube content in a way that it has to suit what I love. Okay, because if you are doing what you don't love as a small YouTuber, you are going to get frustrated. Okay, so I have to like include self-improvement, personal development tips and all that in my channel. So learn new things, new skills, you know, this makes me happy. I'm not even going to lie. There are days that I'll be like, after editing my videos, I'll be like, ah, who edited this video? Is it you? You that used to run away from CapCut. You that used to run away from Adobe Premiere Pro. Like, how, how is it possible that you are the one that did this? Do you get? So that's, that's, it makes me happy. I Another just, thing YouTube has done for me is to be more of a positive-minded person than a negative person. YouTube, YouTube has a way of motivating YouTubers in the sense that once you put out a content, people will like your content and you will be like, who am I that this person actually liked my content? Who am I that someone somewhere is burning his or her data to consume what I am creating? Like, I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but I, I, I feel motivated, okay, here on YouTube. Every video I create is more like a part of me is being unveiled to you guys, to myself. Like Especially when I started creating these personal development videos, there are things I say to you guys that I'll be like, ah, wisdom, you have sense. You get, like, I feel, ah, I feel impacted by the things I say to you guys. And I know that there is someone somewhere that I'm impacting his or her life from the things I am saying here on my channel. And by the way, if you are okay. going to subscribe to my channel, you are missing. <laughs> Please, just go and subscribe to my channel, okay? Another amazing thing that YouTube has done in my life is to help me put in more work. Guys, I always try to make sure that 
the the video i upload next is quite better than the one i uploaded previously that way i keep on growing i don't know if you guys understand what i'm trying to say i try to both in what i say or in my editing skill i always try to see those things that i can actually incorporate in this video to make it more entertaining to make it more catchy it could be my thumbnail it could be my description it could be anything but i always try harder to see that the video i am currently uploading is far better than the one i uploaded right? previously youtube that has makes helped sense. me to be intentional not just about my life but about everything and other people around me i am so intentional ranging from my scripting to my videoing like filming it to editing it youtube has literally made me intentional about everything but even to the point of writing a description i am intentional about it and the hashtags i use the tags i use i am intentional about it and it can only be youtube that will teach you that <laughs> so one thing youtube has actually also helped me in doing is while creating a content i always ask myself this content i'm creating what value is it adding to people's life you can, it might not really be educational it can be entertaining it can be inspirational it depends on the value that you decide to add to your subscribers lives That's before i upload any video i would ask myself what value do i think that this video can impact on my subscribers i asked myself that question and that helps me to even draft my description the next thing that youtube has done for me <laughs> is to be consistent guys i'm not even capping i can be inconsistent but ever since i started creating content on youtube ever since this year let me put it this year when i became serious with youtube i became consistent guys i have been uploading twice a week yes being consistent is easier said than done because i mean most of us that are small youtubers we still have other things that we are doing i mean you can't put all your eggs in one basket now that you're still starting because in case it doesn't work out for you it's not easy to be scheduling your time you know when to film and all that and still be consistent with whatever thing you are doing aside from youtube youtube is trade by butter in the sense that youtube offers you views subscribers in exchange for good value okay so if you don't create valuable content right people will not subscribe to you and you will not get views and you will not get money from youtube okay so youtube to me is trade by butter you offer value for money let me start with you that don't want to start uploading that content why talk to me why don't you want to start uploading that content you have to upload your content you have to start creating okay because i mean you don't have anything to lose but you have everything to gain do anything you want to do bring it out here and you'll see people you'll that will see support people. you okay and i'll be the number one person to support you all right so the next encouragement that i have to tell my small my fellow small youtubers is to keep up the good work keep up the good work keep going don't stop okay even if you're feeling i know you can feel burnt down sometimes it can be so disencouraging depressing that you give up your maximum time your energy to edit and all that as i'm shooting this video i've not eaten since morning and this is this is past two i've not eaten anything okay so imagine when i stay here for hours shooting a content then i stay i give out my time maximum time to edit the videos and i put it out here and i see small views like three views ten views you know it can be quite discouraging i know that okay if, if you feel burned down you can actually give yourself a break okay but just keep going don't stop i mean do not stop we are going to enjoy this channel like i say channel you are going to enjoy this YouTube together, you and I. Okay, so just don't stop. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep doing that thing that you are doing. People are watching. Even if it's just one subscriber that you have, that person is watching you. Keep pushing. If it's Korea, Korea will say, fighting. So, 
exciting. <laughs> Do not let your fear stop you from embarking on this amazing journey. YouTube is an amazing journey for me. I don't know about you, but it's going to be an amazing journey if you keep up the good work. Okay. I guess this is the part where I say thank you for watching my video. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please support me. Support me by subscribing to my channel. Join the family. Here we share valuable content. Okay. Thank you for watching and staying to this very point. See you in my next video. Until then, stay loved, stay blessed, stay fabulous. You know I love you big time. Bye, my loves.